Orlando. Say hi to Frank. <laughs> A lot of people out here. Purple hair, purple dress. It's purple everything. Although it is my favorite color. Styles and trends. You gotta be here in order to enjoy it. I'll get it again. Hi there. Hello. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Okay. So where's your where's your class? You know you can go in and in through there and then go out that way. All my classes are in the same area. Two twelve. Okay. Obviously, on the end is where it's cutting. So that's a very important part. The out is important also, but the end is the most important part because that's where you're actually cutting. Same? So again, coming in, closing out. Coming in, closing out, in, closing out, in, closing out. And the cool thing with that too is that once you have your Janet Jackson control in there, you can be anywhere you want, looking at doing whatever you want, because what happens is your hand gets very comfortable when hitting that on the finger. And by hitting it on the finger, getting your little Janet Jackson control, you become, you have control of your mind, your feelings then. Because what happens is that as that's being hit, it's hitting the nerves, it's going through and telling my brain, I've been hit, I've been hit. It can then tell my right hand, or your cutting hand if you're left handed, it can tell my right hand in my situation to go ahead and close the scissor. So that way I'm totally safe. Cool. Where also, if my finger was too straight, I didn't get to show because I had the hair in my hand earlier. If my finger's too straight, if I go up through and hit that, you can see, if I close that, I'm taking a nice, big, ample part of my knuckle off. And believe me, I say, I beg of you guys to get the control because I've done it many times. Um, and it's a situation that you'll either see a chunk of hair living in her, or a chunk of hair, a thing of skin, living on the top of her hair. You see it on her shoulder, I've seen it there. I see it on the floor, or a big slab of skin just living on the scissor. So I beg of you, this actually is safer than point cutting, where I think point cutting is very comfortable for everyone. So this is truly safe than point cutting because you're gonna hit this smooth part of the metal on your, on your finger. This smooth part, I, well, I don't know how to promise her, but in this situation, I can pretty much promise you guys that this will never cut you. This, can't cut you. This cut is a lot softer, but this can't cut you. So as long as you get that control, you see that curve motion, I can play all I want. So I don't of what we say is all to do with human emotions and that's the same around the world. It makes no difference. I was in Italy last year and a lady said to me, Mr. Crow means with all due respect, there must be differences between Italian hairdressers and Italian customers to American hairdressers and American customers. I said, you know what? You're absolutely right. Americans don't speak Italian. That's the big difference. The reality is we speak one language, making beautiful hair, beautiful models, making hairdressers life easier 
and really being supportive to an industry that supported us for the 30 year journey we've had to make us successful. So now you should show that off, buddy. Don't be letting Avatar go so quickly. I'm not, but they're just staying right here. Right. Just saying, I mean, it's, when you do such good work, I think it's only fair. Look at the paparazzi. Papa, paparazzi. Look, you see like how it? I do this? Look at that. That's the greatest haircut I did all day. You should get a shot of that one. But actually, you know what? I think it's really beautiful. Is this? My inspiration is definitely Avatar running through here. Not Avatar again, please. Sorry, sorry. That's what they're called in counseling. What do you guys, do you like them? And I just, it's really very simple to do. And it's, um, it was a technique that was done many years ago that I, when I saw Avatar for the, I thought, oh, I remember doing that so long ago. And the inspiration came about 25 years ago when I was living in back home in London. And at the time punk was in, punk rock, gothic. And I was sitting in the subway with my friend. And, and I usually don't get that, up, you know, freaked out. But these two gothic guys walking, sat down with big hair, black, black hair. And all of a sudden I saw this little mouse run from inside his hair, down his shoulder, across his shoulder, back in his hair. I swear to God, I went, it freaked me out. So I started thinking about, what if I did stuff back in those days? And so I thought, what if I took that idea and made the ladder for the mouse to go up? So this was ladder lights about 20 odd years ago. And when I saw Avatar, I thought, oh, I gotta bring that back. And how we do it is really very simple. I also did it on this young lady here. Look. Do the color center. Let me just show it. This color beautiful or what? Look, just turn this way. Look. See the avatar light turning through there? And, and it's also dark as well as it is light. And how it's done is you just take a comb. Shake your head. Like this. You just take a comb and you put color on the comb on both sides and you wipe it off. Then you take the hair, it's so difficult. You just take the hair and you go in, in. Put more color on, in, in, and work your way down. And it's just stripes of color, any color you want. It's that easy. Color, if it's two color, 35 minutes. If you're, if you're lifting it, put the desired color you want to lift. Does that make sense? What do you guys think? Yeah? All right, so let me finish off this young lady here. A couple of things. Linda, the color formulation queen will be up here in a few minutes. You guys are in the right place. Uh, we have an upstairs presentation to do, so I may take off in a leave. few seconds. I may and wait for you guys up there. All right. Um, I got a few haircuts finishing off, and we'll leave you guys in the big little hands. Too much work. So, quick, um, so uh, quickly, did you guys see me point cutting? Right, so I'm going to say something. Do you think that point cutting is just texturizing, or when you point cut, are you creating a geometric line? Which geometric line, exactly. So many times we see people texturizing for Jesus. You know what that means? It means that there's a big step, or that you're asymmetric within, within the weight placement, right? So if you just kind of work a little bit slower sometimes, and then when we point cut, always think that you're just not point cutting to soften it. You're point cutting to make a line. That line is going to be the that way. It's kind of nice, isn't it? I'm having so much fun with my salon because I get to teach my staff twice a week, every week. So it's great hands-on. Here's our beautiful little clipper bob. This is my favorite part. I love that. I never know. You're always doing the same dog-eared ball, but like, right? So it's like, I don't know how to explain this one. I just go in right in the ear and I just cut it away. Leaving this, taking this, it's just got a great look to it. A lot of ways you can interpret it. Um, beautiful finish. Bring that one up so I can captivate it. This look, wow, girl. <laughs> I, if you were my girl daughter, I would not let you out of the house right now. Uh, this is just a shame, but you are gorgeous. Your little haircut just really stimulated me. I love little greens. Isn't it great to make green hair and it wasn't an accident? Yeah, Jesus loves me. <laughs> Give it up for my haircuts, you guys. I have to go. I'm going to go meet the students, the future professionals. I guess I'll see you guys. We'll be right up there. I'll warm them up for you. I'll leave you guys in charge. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right, yeah. Thank Give you, it up guys. Robin Crumby, Main guys. stage, 1 o'clock. The show you'll never forget. I'm on fire today. I can't shut up. I got Tourette's. It's all right. I'll see you guys in a bit. So what I'm doing through here, guys, it's just a classic bob. Just to get all the long hair, if I just wanted this what we call just take it and dissect it. I'm just doing what we call invisible layers. 
But by lifting the hair up and over directing and going underneath and just chopping through that, it's creating the body through there so the top lies still over through there. And I think it's just a beautiful little view. As opposed to normally just lifting, which we all do, and just do this. If you go inside, 